Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackenzie. For those of you who are new and today I'm going to be doing a Halloween themed Shein haul. I am so excited. Um, I actually placed a giant order from Shein and everything is Halloween themed with the exception of a few pieces that I just got just because but figured that they would fit really well with the theme of this video. So without further ado, let's hop right in. Lately I have been loving Shein shoes and I think that they're a really good thing to review because there's hardly ever any reviews on shoes from Shein and they have so many cute pairs but I feel like a lot of people are like I don't know if they are worth it or if they will hold up so I like to review their shoes that way I can give you my honest opinion. Um, I wore these today for three miles as I walked to class and my feet actually did really really well in them. They were not uncomfortable at all. I think because they are such a chunky heel that they're not like uncomfortable. They are heavy so do keep that in mind. They were like pretty heavy to walk in but honestly the three miles were fine in them. I could have worn them for longer. I just came home from class. I got them in an eight and a half and I'm an eight and they fit perfectly. I always go up in sizes when I order Shein shoes unless they're heels. So these are super cute. They did scuff against each other a little bit but Honestly, all of my shoes do that, even shoes that are more expensive, so I really like these and they were a great price too. This next pair is like the perfect dupe for those Steve Madden sneakers that like are shown everywhere lately. I don't know, I think that they're so fun. I love the black, white, and gray with a little bit of leopard. I think that Steven sneakers are so fun with just a sweater or a t-shirt and jeans for class. They're really easy to walk in. These run big, so I size down to a seven and a half. I'm usually between a seven and a half and an eight, and I decided to get the eight, and I'm really glad I did. Probably could have even gone down to the seven, so definitely size down when ordering these bad boys. They are super cute. I have a couple of accessories and shoes to share with you at the beginning, but they'll be more later. These ones are just out. I got a cowgirl hat because for one of my costumes, I really, really want to be a cowgirl. Well, I was going to be a cowgirl, and then for my sorority, they told us that our first date party is actually um, cowgirl themed, like, you know, country themed, because we're Alpha Phi, so it's going to be called Phi Ha. So I'm actually going to save this costume for the date party. Um, I love the little hat. This was only a couple dollars. It's kind of like deformed because it's not like it hasn't been out of the box for that long, but it's super cute and it fits my head perfectly. I also got this little belt bag, like a little fanny pack, because I just thought it was super fun. I would definitely wear this for more than just the event, and I just think it's perfect to put your phone, your wallet, or not your wallet, your phone, like your keys, and um your like lanyard basically like I have like one of those little like coin pouches that's what I keep like my student ID in and stuff and like this bag would fit all three of those things perfectly I don't know I always get mad that I don't have something to like put my stuff in when I go out because I don't want to wear a purse so this is so adorable all right let's hop right on into the costume ideas bear with me my roommates helped me choose some of this stuff because we have tons of different costume ideas we obviously won't end up wearing all of these nor are all of these costume perfect but I don't know. So I got this one in mind with Clueless in mind because I don't know I just thought it was so adorable. I probably would have picked this up either way. It's got a little yellow plaid going on with a mock neck. It's long sleeve with just the perfect little crop. I actually really like where this sits and then the skirt just looks like this. It is just like a midi skirt or not a midi skirt. It's just like a mini skirt. Um, I'm not a huge fan of mini skirts on me to be honest when they're on the tighter side but I thought that this one looked super cute. The plaid is a lot for a normal basis but for the costume idea I think that it's really cute. This dress my roommate Emma is gonna wear to be Cruella de Vil with um, a like big fur coat over top and I think that this is just the cutest little dress on a just for every day not every day obviously but like just any event um, it's got really really thin straps that are not adjustable so do keep that in mind they were not too long on me though they were actually the perfect size just a ribbed bodycon dress I don't usually like bodycon dresses but this one was really really flattering I liked the way it fit a lot not too short and the bottom has the cutest little boa trim around it I got a couple of things that have that trim along it it's a super fun detail, but definitely don't put it in the wash, hand wash something with this because the washer will eat it up. So I'm actually going to be a disco ball one night for Halloween, and I thought that this set would be perfect. I actually chose a costume based around 
or I chose like a what to be around this outfit because I was like what can I be with this and I was like a disco ball and then a couple of my friends will probably be disco girls but I obviously want to be the center of attention like look at how fun this is I definitely won't be putting this in the wash either it's got these little like holographic I don't even know what to call them but they're super cute the skirt is adorable and it this does not have an elastic waist by the way this it the first set was an elastic waist this one actually has like a zipper to it and then the top just looks like this the top is actually really big it's not like form-fitting which I really wasn't expecting it doesn't look bad by any means but just know that this is not like a form-fitting set um, it does look, kind of look like a dress just because the top is a little bit longer. I am on the shorter side. I'm only 5'2". So, this is so cute, but just know it looks like a dress at least if you're my height. This set I got with a Barbie costume in mind, and I actually don't love this set. It's not awful. It's just definitely not my favorite. Um... It looks like this. The skirt is just kind of really, really thin. It's a very unflattering material on me. But honestly, I think you could still make it work for one night for a little Barbie costume. All you have to do is like print out Barbie and slap it on your chest. The straps on this are adjustable. Just a cute little top. I actually really like the top with this. I think it might be cute with something else too. I'm totally realizing that I forgot to try this set on, on camera. But this is really cute. I like this skirt. It's a lot more flattering than the pink skirt on. Um, it is a little bit shorter than the other one, but nowhere near as see-through, obviously, because it's black. Um, it is a, about the same thickness as the pink one, but this one's definitely better made. I like this one a lot, and the little top just looks like this. Another really cute top. You do have to wear sticky bras with tops like this, but I don't have a problem with that. I wear a sticky bra a lot anyways, and the straps are adjustable on this cutie, too. This dress I just ordered, like, not even with Halloween in mind. I just added it to the bag, and I love it. I think that this would be perfect for someone who was is going to be a disco girl with me, um, just because it is entirely glitter. Keep in mind, this glitter does shed a lot. Like, the glitter just kind of falls, so I don't know how long it will stay glittery, like, if it would make it through the wash, but... I don't know it's adorable it does tie right here and then the sleeves are like entirely open with a little slit on the arm super super cute this is one of the shorter dresses I have from Shein it looks fine but it definitely isn't on the longer side just keep that in mind if you are tall I love this I probably won't wear that for Halloween a because I'm gonna be the disco ball and B because I think that that would be perfect for like a sorority date party or a theme night or something like that I would wear that on a normal basis so I think I might save that one I got another cute dress that isn't Halloween theme I just got it because this dress is so cute I love this I got it in the extra small I forgot to say I've gotten everything in the smallest size possible um, this is a black velvet dress, and it's got three tiered ruffles. It is so stinking cute on. It is a little low. I probably could get away with it depending on the event. If you needed a black dress for something a little bit classier, I would probably pin it. Um, but, I don't know, super cute. The sleeves are about half an inch too short on me. I'll probably scrunch them up kind of like with the top I have on now, just because I like that better. I also picked up a black and pink little piped robe because one of the girls really wants to be a boxer and like wear a robe and then like tape up their hands and stuff so this would be super cute and every girl all my roommates have robes here and I don't have a robe so I'm just going to use this as my robe here. Um, I don't use a robe on an everyday basis obviously since I don't have one but I find when I take like skincare pictures and stuff like that for brands I would like to have a robe so I'm excited about this one. It was like under $15 I believe and it's pretty nice. Moving on to bottoms. These pants, guys, are something else. So these were purchased for a Grease costume to be sandy. And these pants are like the material of a couple of skirts I've shared in recent hauls. They are like that, like, 
I don't even know what to describe how, but you can just look at them and tell these are very unflattering, I will warn you. They're not as bad as I thought they would be, but they're definitely not going to make you look sexy by any means. Um, they're not very forgiving, but they're actually really fun. Like, I can't help but like them a little bit. They've got like a little silver zipper right here with a little O-ring, and I really like um, the way these fit my waist actually. Usually she and pants are too long in the crotch and they fit my waist like really too loosely, but these fit awesome. So I'll give them that. Olivia really wanted me to pick these up so that she could be a pirate. She's going to wear a skirt over them. Obviously they're little black netted pants. We couldn't find fishnets, but we thought that these would give off the look of fishnets. So she's going to be a pirate with this. Um... I know that someone in my feed, like on my Instagram feed, had these and wore this over a bathing suit. I know some people really like netted pants that look over a bathing suit, so these are cute for that. Obviously, I'm not trying these on on camera for you guys, but there you go. The top to go with the pirate costume with the skirt is this. I actually think it's perfect for the costume idea. Just a little lettuce hem elastic. It's elastic lettuce hem um, top, little crop top. It's very, very stretchy. As you can tell, it's definitely short. You have to wear it with like a skirt, at least in my opinion, for it to look normal, but super cute and like a great price for a Halloween costume. All right, this one I was thinking maybe schoolgirlish vibes. I don't know. I kind of just wanted this anyways just to wear for like a little fall outfit. It's yellow and white with a little bit of light purple plaid. Super cute, just a little pleated skirt. I don't have a pleated skirt. This would actually be really cute for a football game here too. I'm just now realizing that would be fun. So this one actually fits perfect. It's not an elastic waist. It's a regular zipper um, and it fits great. All right, Emma is being a mermaid one day and she has the perfect top for it but needed a pair of like metallic shorts to wear and I thought that these would be perfect. They're just like a little greenish, purplish color. I don't know, they're super fun. You know, just a little costume. Obviously, I would never, ever wear these out on a normal day. But if you're looking for something great for a Halloween costume, guys, Shein seriously has so many awesome pieces and they really won't break the bank, which is what's so great about them. All right, I told you guys that my date party is cowgirl theme, so this skirt, this cow print, is going to be perfect for it. I'm so excited. I'll probably just wear it with a black bodysuit like I did when I tried it on in the try-on portion and then a black cowgirl hat and boots. Um, but I don't know. I think it's so cute. This is a skirt, actually, which I didn't know until I was trying it on. And that's so awesome because you can break it down, have a lot of fun dancing, but like not have to worry about flashing anyone. Love this. It is a zipper, but it's got an elastic back as well. These next pants I was not expecting to love as much as I did, and these fit me like an absolute glove. Like I, I mentioned that the crotch is sometimes weird in Shein pants, and these ones are like perfect, the perfect length. Um, I love these, and then they're they're actually like the perfect tightness too around my thighs I was really surprised and then the pants like flare out really really big a great costume for a disco girl or for a Mamma Mia themed costume we thought about doing something Mamma Mia themed like as a trio costume so I don't know I really like these I'll probably wear them to class one of these days just because they're fun but yeah I love these and I think they were under $15 don't quote me on that but I really really like these I cannot recommend them enough This pink skirt was supposed to come in my last Shein order and they forgot to send it so it actually came this time. It's not Halloween themed but it's just a fun little pink skirt, um, a little midi skirt. It's very very sheer. Definitely have to wear nude undies with this. It's 97% polyester, 3% cotton. Um, so super thin but really really cute. I like this a lot with a little graphic tee and a hair scarf. I think that this would be perfect. Okay, this top is, I forget what costume idea this top was for. Olivia asked me to grab this for a costume, but anyways, it's like a mesh shirt. You obviously have to wear like a really cute black bralette underneath of it, but it's got little fur, boa fur on the sleeves and the shoulders. I don't know. I think that this is so, so, so cute. A really cute going out top just like on an everyday basis too. 
This tank top I just got for funsies. It's a little pink cropped um, ribbed tank and it's got that same little pink boa. It does have adjustable straps which is nice. I don't know. I just thought that this was young and fun and I don't know. I just really wanted it. <laughs> This next skirt is one of the best pieces I've ever gotten from Shein. I actually really, really like this skirt. It is like that pleather look, but it's like not that latexy feel that those pants had. Um, I really like this. It's got like a paper bag style top, and it does zipper. Super cute, and it comes with like a little silver um, buckled belt to cinch the waist with as well. I got a pair of little starfish earrings for that mermaid costume just because the mermaid costume needed a little something extra. So these are really cute. Just starfish with a little um, faux pearl. Those are going to be super cute. These shoes I'm really bummed about because they accidentally sent the wrong size. I was so excited for these. They're just like little white sneakers. They're just way too small on me. These are a size 38. I am a size 8, so technically it's the right size, but I always size up two sizes in sneakers unless the reviews say to do otherwise. Um, I don't know. I really like these because they've got like that like elasticy. I don't even know. Elastic's not the word, but that really fun material, like knit material that's very comfortable. I don't know, really like these and hoping that they will send them in the correct size. And then the last thing I got are these pair of booties. Sophie actually has these and she wears them all the time and I love them. I really needed a pair of shoes that would be cute with my cowgirl costume. Um, I couldn't find a pair of cowgirl boots on their site so I figured that little western themed booties, or what, that's not the word, western themed western inspired booties would be perfect so I got these I'm not exactly sure if I'll end up wearing them with the skirt I might just wear these on like a normal basis but love these I went up one size to a 39 and they fit her this is like a random clip I'm inserting into this haul because this jacket didn't come in the last package but it just came and I realized that it was part of my order and it's literally so so cute oh my god I don't think I got this for a costume I think I just got it it is so soft the sleeve length is perfect I love the length of it obviously I wouldn't wear it with this cardigan but it is the cutest thing you need this jacket it is so worth the money you could actually wear this like for the Corella Devel costume this would be perfect just throwing it over because you know it's got that little fur vibe um, it does zip up. I'm so glad I got this because it is so, so, so soft and cute. And I accidentally, accidentally left my favorite white coat at home um, in Maryland. So I'm really glad I have this one now. This one definitely is better than the other one. I love this. You need it. Okay, that's all. Um, sorry, this clip is really random. <laughs> Alright guys, that is going to be all for today's Halloween themed haul. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed and that this gave you some ideas as maybe what to be for Halloween um, and what kind of items you can purchase. If you guys purchase today, I know that this is going up on a Friday. Their shipping usually takes one week, like seven to ten days is usually how long it takes for me. Um, so you'll get it in time for Halloween weekend. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you want the links to anything um, I will leave them in the description bar below along with my code Q4 McKenz15 to get 15% off your purchase. Make sure you're following me on the blog stylebymckenz.com and here on my YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribed. That way you guys can see um, what we end up being for Halloween. Bye guys!